Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to do the carving of mandibular second premolar with all the three types of occlusal aspects. So let's start it. So first of all, mark 0.8 cm square on all the four sides of the block. Then mark 1.45 cm another square on all the four sides of the block. Mark the central lines on all the surfaces. Also mark the mesial, distal, lingual and buccal surfaces. After this, mark 7 mm on the incisal edge and 5 mm on the cervical line of the buccal and lingual sides and join the points such that a shape of a trapezoid will be formed and start removing the wax from the either sides of the trapezoid so now we will divide the buccal and lingual surface into three parts and we will make a slope towards the lingual side so that the different heights of the cusp can be achieved so now we will do the marking for the mesial and the distal slopes the distal slope is greater in dimension in comparison with the mesial slope similar to that what we have seen in the mandibular first premolar so make the slopes accordingly So now we will make the central line and two lines beside it which will form the cusp tips and we will join the lower line on the buccal surface to the first line and make a slope So here we will form a buccal ridge and start removing the wax from the either sides of the ridge so that the ridge becomes prominent the ridge is not so prominent in as compared to the mandibular first premolar So now we will start with the lingual side. Uh, it is little bit straight and also round and smooth. So we will make it. Also we will make its edges smooth and round. So now we will start with the Y type of the occlusal table. it has three cusps so first of all we will do the marking of y shape on the occlusal surface and also the marking for the buccal triangular ridge the lower edge of the y shape forms the lingual groove which divides the lingual cusp into two small cusps 
such as the mesolingual cusp and the distolingual cusp. So this mesolingual cusp and the distolingual cusp also has small ridges inside which joins the Y shaped groove. You can see in the figure and do accordingly. The mesolingual cusp is greater in dimension than that of the distolingual cusp. So mark the Y shaped groove inside again also make small pits on the mesial and the distal marginal ridge near the mesial and distal marginal ridge Extend the grooves towards the mesial and distal marginal ridges. Preserve the ridges. So after clearing the surface, we can clearly make out here the Y shaped groove on the occlusal table. So now we will start making the root on the buckle and the lingual side it is tapering and from the mesial and the distal sides it is little bit bulky also it is more bulky in comparison with the mandibular first premolar root So we'll make its edges smooth and rounded. After this, we will hold the tooth with the crown and do the polishing of the root. And we will start making the cervical line 
it is almost straight and then we will start making the developmental grooves which are very light so this was the y type mandibular second premolar so now we will see how to make a h type occlusal table so it has two cusps so first of all we will do the marking of h shape on the occlusal surface and then we will start making the buccal triangular ridge similar to what we have made in mandibular first premolar same, uh, same we have to make here make the slopes on the either sides of the ridge simultaneously keep making edge shaped groove inside make two small pits on the either sides of H shape near the marginal ridges preserve the marginal ridges also extend the groove till the marginal ridges you can see here in the figure So this was the occlusal table of H shape mandibular second premolar. So now we will see how to make a U type occlusal table. So it is also made up of two cusps. So first of all we will do the marking of U shape on the occlusal surface and start making the buccal triangular ridge. Also make the slopes on either sides of the buccal triangular ridge. and simultaneously keep making a U shaped groove inside make the lingual ridge also make slopes on its either sides Extend the groove little bit towards the marginal sides. We can see here in the figure. 
also make accordingly So this was the U-shaped occlusal table of the mandibular second premolar. So this was the video on mandibular second premolar with all the three types of the cusp. So thank you everybody for watching this video. Subscribe the channel so that you can get the notifications of my upcoming videos.